Hey everybody, Joe Casabona here, and today I want to tell you about my automated backup system that I just came up with recently and implemented this week. Uh, my content on my blog and in my podcast have all been about automation, and I thought that this was a great way to talk about how I am keeping my data safe and backing everything up into multiple places. Now, I will link in the description for this video uh, a blog post I wrote about my backup strategy and how it saved me, um, especially using uh, Backblaze as well as a couple of other things. Um, but the general idea behind backup, a common strategy is the 3 two, one strategy. You should have three backups uh, on two different mediums and one should be off-site. But I'm going to walk you through my strategy, which is a little bit more complicated than uh, what most people need. But because of some issues I've had in the past, uh, I decided to kind of go all out here. So you can see a diagram on the screen here. Uh, in the center is my iMac Pro. This is where I get all of my work done. This is a one terabyte iMac Pro. So part of the reason I have a involved backup strategy is because I'm only really keeping the files I need on my iMac Pro. Uh, technically, my Dropbox account has more space than my actual computer. And uh, when you're working with videos, you can lose that space pretty quickly. So what, let's follow the black line first. That is the easiest one to follow. Uh, I have a 12 terabyte external hard drive the western digital elements is the one i went with i liked that because it was slightly cheaper than uh, the my book brand and i didn't need any of the extra bells and whistles because what i did was i broke this up into two different partitions uh, which means i essentially took this hard drive and separated it into two separate hard drives as far as the computer essentially my mac sees this 12 terabyte hard drive as two different hard drives. One is an eight terabyte hard drive, which is where the time machine backups go. This is more than enough space. The convention for a time machine I've read is two to three times the amount of space that you have on your Mac. Uh, so I decided to go with eight times the amount because that means more backups, right? I, I'll run out of space. I won't run out of space as quickly. Um, assuming the limitations for time machine don't kick in uh, and then the other half of this drive or the other part of this drive is a four terabyte drive that has manual backups on it so this is mostly stuff that i have on other servers that i might want to just pull down and, and put somewhere safe um, that is not taking up space in my time machine drive or anything like that uh, one of the important components of having this as two separate drives is uh, my cloud storage strategy. Uh, Backblaze is a big part of that, and I'll talk about that next, but uh, Backblaze is a part of that, and Backblaze will not back up Time Machine. So let's move on to the cloud storage aspect of my backup strategy. First, I have iCloud. I have some amount of space in iCloud. Uh, and then I have Dropbox, which I have two terabytes of storage there. That's more than enough for me to keep video review files, podcast files, and other rich media that tends to take up a lot of space. Uh, the main part of my cloud storage strategy is Backblaze. I love Backblaze. They were a sponsor of my podcast for a short amount of time, but uh, for some crazy low amount of money, for like 60 bucks a year, you can back up all of your files from your computer and any external drive attached to it that is not a time machine drive. Uh, to Backblaze, there's no limit on the amount of space. There is a 30-day limit for reaching backups. I pay the extra two bucks a month to get a year's worth of backups because why not? It's an extra two bucks for an extra 11 months. So uh, Backblaze, there's an app that runs on my computer. It automatically backs up any files. This has saved me more than once, like with podcast interviews with pictures I thought I had backed up that weren't on Time Machine or weren't somewhere else. So 
Backblaze, I can't recommend it enough. I'll have a link to that in the description for this video as well. Uh, you can get a 14 day free trial with Backblaze and I know that you'll be hooked uh, because it gives me peace of mind. They're absolutely fantastic. And then finally, the third part is this blue section over here. So this is the most complicated part and this is the part I'm most proud about. Uh, I have a NAS that is a, uh, I think it stands for um, Network Accessible Storage, but it's essentially a set of hard drives that sit in its own container that you can connect to your network. Uh, and it works as a server. A lot of people will use a NAS for uh, their own media server, but I bought like the underpowered one. So it's basically serving as like cold storage for me. I've got four uh, terabytes in there and... What I do is I have a Hazel script run every day uh, to check for sp files specifically in my videos folder uh, that haven't been opened in the last 30 days. And if they have not been opened in the last 30 days, then move those files to the NAS and delete them off my hard drive. So uh, this is great because it essentially creates cold storage for old video files. Uh, and I know that even if this part happens to fail for some reason, uh, the files are still on Backblaze and in Time Machine, but they're not taking up space on my hard drive. And those videos are the things that take up the most space on my hard drive. So I'm going to X this out and I'll kind of show you what I've got going on here in these two windows. So first of all, uh, you can see all three of the drives that I mentioned here. This is the Time Machine drive. Uh, it is an eight terabyte partition on the 12 terabyte elements uh, and then there's the general storage again you could see that is a four terabyte non time machine drive on the 12 terabyte uh, hard drive and then the nas so the nas is uh, accessed via the network that's what this little icon means and this is again just cold storage for me uh, and finally here is the hazel script that i have running so I call it cold storage. I have it watching the videos dot no sync folder. Fun fact, if you create a folder uh, in your iCloud drive, um, like on your computer, but happens to be somewhere in your iCloud drive, which is like most things on your Mac. Uh, if you add dot no sync to the end of a folder, it will not sync that to iCloud. So I don't have the videos folder like killing my iCloud storage. Uh, but anyway, if anything, uh, the date last opened is not in the last 30 days, then move it to videos.nosync. Oh, I should also say that this folder is sitting in the NAS. It's not like the same folder. That's it for this video. I just wanted to walk you through my backup strategy really quick. Uh, there, it's all automated except for the manual storage part. Um, but that accounts for very little of my actual backup strategy. Everything else is happening in Time Machine, on Backblaze, and through Hazel on my NAS. And again, if you want to try out Backblaze, you can do that. You can get unlimited backups for a single computer uh, and a 15-day free trial. Uh, if you go to the link you see on the screen right now, it'll also be in the description below. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content.